Cast your mind back to the most frenzied aftermath of the 2020 election, to the fever swamp of conspiracy theories about voter fraud. Go to Arizona. In the spring and summer of 2021, while the cyber ninjas were spinning candy-colored Lazy Susans during their so-called audit of the votes cast in Maricopa County, a failed Republican State House candidate named Liz Harris marshaled an army to go canvassing door-to-door -door looking for voter fraud. Spoiler alert, just like the Maricopa County audit, the canvas didn't turn up anything. A year later, Liz Harris ran again for a seat in the Arizona State House, and this time she won. But then she announced that even though she won, she believed the 2022 election in Arizona was fraudulent and she issued a threat. I call on all state legislators to join me in demanding a new election. I will now be withholding my vote on any bills in this session without this new election in protest to what is clearly a potential fraudulent election. She signed it, Liz Harris, MBA, which is a totally normal thing for people with an MBA to do. This week, State Representative Liz Harris, MBA, appeared to make good on that threat. Liz Harris, MBA, joined all the Democrats to vote no, single-handedly sandbagging a Republican bill to fund the government. Republicans hold a one-seat majority in the State House in Arizona, so Liz Harris, MBA, and her vote, they are crucial in the face of united Democratic opposition. As to why Liz Harris, MBA, voted no, all we have to go on is her pledge to hold the Arizona legislature hostage until they demand a redo of the 2022 election. She would not talk to reporters about it. Republicans were surprised to lose this vote, and they will try again in the next two weeks. So if we suddenly start hearing Arizona Republicans cry out about election fraud in the midterms, I guess we know why. If you thought that the 2022 midterms were a corrective to the election denialist madness of the 2020 elections, if you thought for a moment that the fever had broken, then I am afraid to have to tell you we are still very much living in the middle of an outbreak.